Once you get your microscope safely to your seat, go ahead and plug it in and turn it on. The first thing we're gonna look at today is a mixed pollen slide. So go ahead and take that out. You're gonna place it on the stage and you wanna gently move this stage arm out of the way, slide it in place and gently let it go. Remember you have your mechanical stage apparatus that you can move and position your specimen. You wanna center that circle over the light circle. The best way to start viewing a specimen is to start, you have to have your scanning lens, the shortest one with the red rim. You wanna go down here and adjust your iris diaphragm to where it says 4X. That's gonna give you the right amount of light through your specimen. Use the course adjustment knob and raise the stage all the way up as far as it'll go. Until it stops. Once you have the stage in that position, go ahead and look through the oculars and turning the course focus knob towards you until your specimen is in view. Once you have your specimen in focus under your scanning lens, go ahead and rotate your revolving nose piece clockwise to your low power objective lens. That is gonna have a yellow rim on it. These scopes are par focal. You should not have to adjust the focus, so only use your fine focus adjustment knob. So while looking through the ocular, you should just have to turn it about a half a turn. Now that you've seen it under low power, you wanna rotate your lens again. So rotate the revolving nose piece till it clicks into place. Now we have the 40X high power objective lens with the blue band. Once again, you have to go down to your iris diaphragm and turn the dial to match to 40X. Using only your fine focus adjustment knob, go ahead and get your specimen in view. Now you're ready to look at it with the oil immersion lens. To do this, you're gonna need your immersion oil. So take that out of your kit, take the top off. This white lens is the oil immersion lens. You wanna rotate past that one till you're in between your scanning and your oil lens. This is to prevent any sort of lens drift and you wanna prevent getting oil on this high power lens. When you're in between the scanning lens and the oil lens, place a drop of oil right there at the center of your slide. And then let the oil lens rotate and click into place. Since we changed our lens, we also have to adjust our iris diaphragm down here. You're gonna turn the knob until the line lines up with 100X. As we go up in magnification, we need to increase the intensity of light. Once again, look through the ocular and you should only have to use your fine focus adjustment knob. If you don't see your specimen, you may also have to center it using your mechanical stage apparatus.
Once you're done viewing that slide, you wanna turn your revolving nose piece to the scanning lens and then remove your slide. This is a prepared slide, so you need to clean it and return it to the slide box that you got it from. A great way to clean oil off of a slide, first you wanna use your optical lens wipes to get off the majority of the oil. And you can just rip a page out. Clean off. And then in your kit, you have alcohol wipes. Go ahead and use the alcohol wipes to get off all of the oil before you return the slide to the case. So the top and the bottom. You can set it aside to dry. Also, you need to take care of the oil on your microscope. So you wanna take the lens paper, find a clean place, and you wanna gently wipe in a circular motion. If you see oil on the paper, that means you're not done. So always finding a clean place on the lens paper, wipe the oil. I still have some oil, so you keep wiping until all the oil is gone. When you're done viewing all your specimens for the day, it's time to clean up. Make sure that the cap is on your immersion oil and you place it back into your kit. Make sure all slides are cleaned and placed in the slide box from where they came and returned to your kit. You also need to clean your lenses. So once again, you're gonna take a clean piece of lens paper and you're gonna clean the scope from the top down. So you're gonna clean your ocular lenses You start with the lower lens first. You're gonna wipe the low power objective lens, the high power objective lens, and then